the hell's going on with this title? Don't look at the title, Rick! Don't read all that, too! That, that literally is a description of the episode. You've already read it. Oh, yeah. I read it minutes ago. Hey, what? guys! Crew of Blonde Wave! I'm Eric. Rick! I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Lucifer. Last time on Lucifer, Michael. Lieutenant Diablo. <laughs> Damn, man, it was so good. They're gonna be played by Ice Cube now. It was so funny, I was like, in that uh, that episode, I was like, they should have done like a Michael. Ah! And then in, the, in that episode, they did the Diablo <laughs> thing. I'm like, oh my god, they got me. Well, my, my own idea. <laughs> <laughs> they did it better. Their idea first. <laughs> no. Michael, speaking of, now has a marked face. Sure. So you can, you can tell them apart. Uh, yeah. Chloe is now also in an existential crisis about who she is and why she exists. Mm -hmm. And why she does. After having the previous crisis of devil, gods, real thing. Angels. Yeah. And Amenadiel's deals in hell. Yes. Yeah, he is. Linda was not happy about that. He's like the worst babysitter. Is Amenadiel in... Like. If he's in hell, is he doing God's work? Uh, I don't even know if there is a God. Yeah. But Michael talks to him. He says he does. They, lots of people say they talk to God. Should we believe all of them? What I mean, if God was I don't know how that works. They all have have had dealings with him and stuff. Like their mother married to him. What does they God remember? need with a starship? That was a deep reference that neither of them will get for at least twenty years. Starship troopers. Star County. What? Yes, O'Doves and Monopoly. Uh, Rick's favorite board game. Yeah. It's game night. The detective always comes to game night. Get better games, maybe she'll come. Monopoly's no fun with just two people. Oh, fine. Since it may very well be my last night on Earth, let's go to the bar. Oh, thought they were going to play last night on Earth. All right, well. <laughs> the year was 1946. Hmm. Huh. Is the whole thing going to be in black and white? Except for his red suit. And the bottom of his shoes. Louboutins. It was a wonderful time. Men wore hats, hemlines were on the rise, and so much crime. <laughs> this is a pretty big it's like period shot. It's, it's the same crime. set as they used from the previous episode. The Garden Club. Wasn't he previously hanging out with Hitler? Weren't there pictures of that? Like him at like a Hitler party? True. They had those. The Vatican had those, right? I think you meant they had Hitler parties. Oh. Yeah, at the Vatican, man, Hitler parties. <laughs> Though there is some weird Catholic Church Nazi stuff. Yeah. But that's really good. Gold and whatnot. Who's just gonna be? I was the only one who knew her real name, Lilith. Wait. Oh. Lilith. Oh, Lilith. Raises his mother. Chase! Oh, that's the second base? It's her second musical number this season. She is evil. Where's the band? I'm the courage. Seems weird. So you're not. It's trying. coming through the speakers, Rick. What? It's technology. Why don't you fellas go jerk yourselves a soda? Oh, and tell Tommy. Jerk. Mm, sure. Sad we can't really use that one anymore. What is, what is jerk yourself a soda? Soda jerk. I don't know, we're gonna do it. Used to be a together, like in a circle. It's like soda. So there's a spray over all of us, all over the place. That ring is the only thing in the entire universe that means anything to me. I'm going to get it back, and you are going to help me. Why would I do that? Because you owe me. <laughs> the devil solving crime. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Is that just her, or is she being possessed? This is great. Yeah. <laughs> I needed help. Professional help. Jack, Jack Monroe. Hang on. Why does investigator have to be a boy? <laughs> I like. Well, it's it a good excuse to have her. Look at the hard line on the back of his hat. Yeah. Definitely shot for black mm -hmm. and white. Which one of these ne'er do wells should we interview first? Same person everyone talks to. Bartender. Be with you in two shakes. I've got a gun above the bar. From Al Capone. Is this Linda? <laughs> the Winchester. What's your poison? <laughs> Usually wears a plain blue suit. Oh, and an eye patch. Who would have lived with, with that? All right. I'm waiting for it to be like Dan or a minute See or something. Fella. Handsome, beefy, strong jaw, eye patch. That's the guy. 
No one mentions that. A bad feeling about this. Mm-hmm. It's a setup. <laughs> Such a you again. All right, Jack. Warm him up for you, Mr. Stompinato. Stompinato. Oh <laughs> Next time, I won't be so nice. That means you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Crab and Goyle. <laughs> That's where they are back there. <gasps> Hey, that's Surely. a cool way of bringing her back. Yeah. yeah. Who the hell's Dan? She looks like she could be in movies from this time. Yeah. Women's great. Dan was his part. Yeah. <laughs> well, folks call him Willie the Sausage Prince. Oh, I wonder, he was my best friend. <laughs> Willie the Sausage Prince, okay. What are the misses do? Look at this shot. <laughs> this is so old. <laughs> <feeling. So great. laughs> Problems are like Bible salesmen or. Genital warts. If you pretend they're not there, sooner or later they disappear. <laughs> he's the devil. I don't know how it works. Can you not paint the sword first? Oh, he's the sausage master. What is he doing? Can you please tell me what he's doing? Hey. <laughs> and I don't know anything about a ring. Does anyone know about your ring? You know something about fancy weaponry. Sure, fancy knife. The overtime fees for a rental elephant are unconscious. A rental elephant? <laughs> There's a word to describe you, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It's like a shower, but French. <laughs> I took one little piece of that garden on the way out. The stone that was in my ring. Mm. These cages are traps. Larry escapes. End of the evening. Only to expire on your doorstep. Got pretty far with the knife in his back. Yeah, he should have gone to the hospital. Might have made it. But if Stompanato did all this to impress Lily Rose... Why not give her the ring? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Got Eden powers. Yeah, it's proof of the divine. It's dripping. He's in... Stompanato. Oh, I was going to say, it looked like he was in... Oh. Someone, that's one of his goons, right? Yeah. Rise and shine, Stompanato. He's dead. Really? Do you trick us by hiding under your covers? Who's that? That's a huge hole. That's Ella. It's Stompanato. It's Stompanato. Yeah. That certainly explains why I never gave Lily's ring back. Egyptian. Salutations. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were here for the secret cult ceremony. Sorry, my friend is new. We are absolutely here for the secret cult ceremony. It's the worst kept, se kept okay. secret. It's a secret ceremony? You're just telling people about it? I mean, well, yeah. this time period, if people heard about it, they would be... Oh, get that crystal looks in black and white. I uh, breathed ring bell. <laughs> and I peer behind him again. Melvin the Magnificent at your service. What is in this place? You seek the ceremony of Anubis. Yes, we do. We'll take one of those, please. <laughs> we <are. laughs> he went from North to Tell us, Melvin the Magnificent. I love that. The push in with the focus. 1941 Pontiac torpedo. Eight cylinder engine, 103 horsepower. Uh. Zero to 40 in under three minutes. And. Surprisingly affordable. He asks if I'm a virgin. I say yes, because that always got the folks in Spain going. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, some priest fellas are throwing me in a volcano. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever connected with a human? Now, once Caligula and I made a human train of 37. I'm not talking about sex, Lucifer. It would take a literal miracle for me to want something like that. I'm fairly certain literal the not having your nose at it. Of sausage, what was his name? The sausage Prince. <laughs> Willie. Willie. Ah, uh, the other partner, huh? Yeah. Right, was when the other one dead? Yeah, the other one, one was dead. Makes sense. The Irish guy. There's a man in the least dressing room. I made sure he saw me put the bracelet in the safe, just like you said. There's nobody in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. 
What the hell? I can't believe it. She got the thing from the bar. Give it to her husband or whatever who's dying. Yeah, there's a reason you shoot that gun. I, I oh, said yeah. about the gun. I said it. I thought I shot the dad. Forget it, Trix. It's Chinatown. It's what? Never mind. It's from Chinatown with Jack Nicholson. Let's just settle this ring of a rule once and for all, shall we? What? <laughs> <laughs> shot him right in the foot! That scream was so good. I am two weeks to go to jail! No! I think I've been immortal long enough. <sighs> Breath of oh, life. she's putting her, like, Immortality into the ring. Now it does have the power. Now it turns black. I want you to have it. Oh wow. Is he telling this stuff to Trixie? And does Trixie know that he's a devil? I imagine. It's a bedtime story here. Okay. Once upon a time, remember? You realize Chloe wasn't really the detective, right? No, I, I, I do. <laughs> but Trixie was so uh, critical of decisions he made earlier. I just wonder if she was like wondering why this was there. The streets are empty. It's midnight, New York. What happened to Jack and Shirley? Did they live happily ever after? Well, they moved to Des Moines, so... No. Probably not. <laughs> you get the story? Oh. <laughs> what we getting? Cake? I taught you well, kid. Damn. She's too old for cake now. She wants money. It's cash. Yep. Checking out her mom? I mean, that's Maybe. what she was talking about before, was figuring out about things with her mom. Yeah. Like she should be dead. Well, she should be older. <gasps> Who wants to know? It's Rose from Lost. Oh, you're right. I did it to make you strong, and it worked. Just look at you. I can see you don't need anyone. I don't like not liking that actress. Mm. Some reason I felt like the door was gonna explode. <laughs> Jerry <brother. laughs> Damn it, Jerry! That was a fucking shock. I was like, I know this woman. I love her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it took me for a second to just be like, <laughs> whole time, yeah, you just. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is he doing over there? Yeah. I don't know who this woman is. No. I saw the title, and it says it never ends well for the chicken. Episode four. So I was thinking, like, part four? I was very confused. Oh, It's episode no. four of season five. No, it's just, it's the it title never ends episode. well for the chicken. Yeah, it's just weird that episode four is at the end of it, you know? Yeah. No, I don't know. It is weird. Mm. He's right. And you know you know how you can avoid that? Don't read it! I would have read it now and I would have been confused. <laughs> you wouldn't. You'd be like, oh, yeah, it's episode four. It didn't All right. It's an interesting way to introduce Lilith and have her be a, a different actor when she was younger, so... I didn't know yeah. she would be an immortal being, but now it seems like she is not. She, she is old lost her, uh, her she breath was. of life. Yeah. And, yeah, and it seems like mm. that was in the 40s, so she probably just ages a little less than everyone else. Or... I don't know. Swallow. I mean, being... How old was she in the 40s? Like, being generous saying she's in her 20s, that'd make her, like, 90s, 100? I mean, she wouldn't be 100, be like... unless it was in the 40s. Mid eighties, right? early nineties, I would say. Or you're saying if she was twenty, if she then, was twenties, then at seventy uh, years, forty. I mean, probably like eighties, nineties, because it's almost the, it was forty six. It was almost the fifties. And this isn't current day. This isn't like twenty twenty one. This is back a few years. Yeah. Right. But I mean, she looked old. At least one. And I don't know. Yeah. What happens when you take like a demony thing and remove its mortality? Well, she was Adam's first wife, so she would have left the garden before God cursed the world with death, right? Mm -hmm. So, and the first people in the Bible lived very, very, very long, and she had like a rock of Eden that was giving her immortality. Or I should say, no, she had the breath of life that yeah, God breathed yeah. into her that she gave up. So she starts aging, or I don't know, because the breath she of life doesn't necessarily like, give you immortality. Yeah, she probably just. Mm -hmm matured up to that point and then she stopped aging yeah once she gave up the breath of life it probably like like started at like an accelerated rate until it got normal well again, you right? could say that because she maybe because left she was Eden a... before the fall and before death was given to the world she like her breath of life keeps her immortal like that's what it would have happened to Adam and Eve and anybody they wouldn't have died right they only yes. do that once they've eaten from the knowledge of the tree of good and evil. Eve didn't age. 
That's true. Which is weird. But she also yeah. technically died. She was in heaven. Went to heaven yeah. and then came back because sure. she was a special. So Lilith was a girl for Adam before Eve was made? That's what they said in the lore, yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the show. Lore? I don't know about that. Like, okay. I thought you were like bringing some Bible real. stuff or whatever. No. Like, well, you are, but I'm trying, I, I'm trying to think of like, well, how does, like, how does she have this age thing that she can give up and all but this one here you're saying that it took place before Eve existed when she was there yeah Yeah. she was Adam's first wife I know that there's some like Lilith stuff in like uh, Jewish folklore or something like that but I'm not really I don't know I don't know I mean I've heard of Lilith before but Mm -hmm. so what's gonna happen to that ring why are we getting the backstory on this Chloe's gonna get shot it's gonna be life or death and Lucy Green is gonna put on the ring and it's gonna heal her and shit, and she can't take it off. I mean, it may so not. She's gonna live forever, like Lucifer. Maybe it's not so much the ring, but more so the story of the characters revolving around it. Because we had before where Maze was like interested in her mom, like there was her and Linda talking, and it felt like she was wanting to look into who her mom was. So maybe it's just a way of us t- kind of getting to understand who Lilith or Lily Rose was, and why she did what she did, and then not so much necessarily about the ring itself, because they kind of like. Originally, they were like, the ring is not important. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. But then they did the breath, and then it changed colors. And I still don't know if it actually means anything or not. Because Lucifer, if he's been wearing it this whole time, he still has died, and he's the devil. Yeah. Sure, but it's in the ring, right? You'd have to, like, take it out of the ring and put it in someone's mouth. Is that sure. what you gotta do? You gotta, like, crack the stone open and like, let, the, let the breath of life out. It sounds like a lot of extra stuff. I mean, she didn't crack the stone to let the breath of life in. No, she had it in her. It was breathed into her. It's, it's, it's in the stone. But it didn't, she didn't breathe it into the stone. She didn't, like, let me draw a hole. No, so was just gonna no she, was, suck it she went yeah. like this. Like that. Like sure. she was doing dice at yeah. Vegas. I'm just saying, like, why do you got to crack it open to get it out when you don't have to crack it open to get it in? Because the, Do you have it, to crack it open in your piggy bank to get the money in? Yeah, see? Huh, chips and huh? Have any money? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I, I, I can't think of anything pressing or present in the story that this fixes so yeah and we'll fix something in the future yeah. maybe they could give it to charlotte no she was taken to heaven there you go yeah it wasn't eve so i did like seeing her again yeah but she was a celestial creation thingy she was special circumstances eve. she came back who yeah eve, eve? Yeah. she came back from heaven <laughs> <laughs> but how she fell because she didn't have she wings didn't fall you know? she just jumped yeah, it's falling with style. I didn't say she flew. They should falling give it is jumping to without Dan. style. <laughs> Dan, what? They should give the ring to Dan. I love that they no! shot him in the foot. Like, ah! ah! My stomach! <laughs> him having to play that role was so fun. Yeah, so I'm just great. saying, give it to Dan because no matter his life, he's always like, he needs more to make up for all the terrible things that have that he's done and has happened to him. Sure. He's more life. Get a chance. I thought it was a it was a fun way to uh, format the story by having it be a story to Trixie. A story being told to Trixie, so she can like you know pepper the the story with faces and people she sure. knows. But I also like the way where you know well, how are we gonna have Chloe appear in the story? Sure. It's like well the gender thing, you know, Who's- and it makes I, I, I like that more than like an actual flashback. In which actors that we know show up that breaks more immersion yeah. than just being able to do something like this. Does Jack Monroe sound familiar from something? No. No? I mean, it seems it like sounds a familiar to me. It, it definitely Jack sounds Monroe. like a P.I. Jack name. Monroe. Who's Jack Monroe? But I'm like, it's I don't Jack Spade, right? From Maltese Falcon? Nope. I don't know what that is. It's on HBO Max right now. You should watch it. All of you should watch it, too. It's a hell of a movie. It is a hell of a movie. Uh, there's a British writer called Jack Monroe. Why the hell would I know that? <laughs> He's a <laughs> British food writer, journalist, and activist. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Campaigns on poverty issues. And is a woman. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Maybe that's why they had... That's why they didn't change the name on the door? Yeah. Maybe. That's why they had Chloe. And I don't see any other prominent Jack Monroes. What did Jack yeah. write? Did she write like any... Food recipes. A Only girl called stuff? Jack. A 100 delicious budget recipes. Paperback, Amazon.com. A girl called Jack. A girl called Jack. Maybe there was a reference to that or something like that. I don't know. Huh. Maybe, but I also am playing Mass Effect and met Jack and 
I was surprised there too. <laughs> so, I bet they all had a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. I think so too. The yeah. cinematographers had a lot of fun. The camera people, like they were able to light for black and white. Where if you, if you have that normal, you're just gonna have these giant highlights, mm-hmm. you know. Especially that one guy, the the rat. <laughs> he definitely had fun with his role. Yeah, definitely. The, the people doing the soundtrack. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. What was the uh, another intro right off the bat that changes? What was the line he had about like? There's a word. It's a shower, French. I don't know. Well, so think you, of it later. Like <laughs> I like come to me later. I like yeah. a way of like saying like douche without calling him douche yeah. because he, it was just not towards Dan. Yeah. Like douche and all that. Mia Deal had the smallest role. He did. I did like his pre-sacrificed sure. chicken. Yeah. <laughs> for his economy package. <laughs> just yeah. wanted a car. Just so he can get that, yeah, Pontiac, whatever. Tornado. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was a good way of being able to introduce Lilith. And I imagine Lilith sticks around or we, I don't know, do you guys think we see her more? I don't think we ever see her She's again. She's in Reno. Never. But you cast in that actress? Never. I think we see her again. I mean, how much more stuff is that actress in? She's pretty prominent. Is she? Yeah. She was in, um... Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, the Green Mile. Who's she? I was thinking Green Mile. She's in I was gonna say. Uh, say who's she in Star Wars? <laughs> I have missed Trixie. Yes. Is this our first time seeing her since Netflix? Uh, no, we saw her once this season. Not this this season? I believe so. Uh, have we? Yeah. When? I mean, we've I seen her. Like we have. We've seen her this old. I believe it was this season, but I don't remember where it was. I mean, we had... The, we had I wouldn't have written it down. We only had four episodes. Yes, I know. The first episode was all about Eve? the back and forth between Eve. No, the back and forth between, <coughs> like, Lucifer in the underworld. Yeah. And then Chloe trying to solve... And they were, like, trying to solve the same thing. And we had that guy who's always in Lucifer all the time, dead on his yacht. Yep. In the Speedo. Yep. I remember that. Right? Okay. And then Michael came back, and then the second episode was all about Michael. Michael. And I don't remember... Trixie being involved with Michael at all. So she would have been fooled. So we did go to his house, and then the last episode with the WB stuff and space. I don't think he was in. She was in that either. I don't think we've had her this season. If we did, it would have been the first episode maybe before Michael showed up. I didn't write her down. I didn't be like ah, Trixie showed up. We did have the scene with. Uh, I think it was last season though with uh, Trixie and Maze like hugging it out, or I just dreamed that. That was the apology. Yeah. The apology happened. Uh, wasn't it the end of last season? But I think that was last season. I just feel like we haven't had Trixie in a while. She appears in episode one, uh, and three, and four. She's credit only in episode two. Season five, episode one, season five, episode four. So only one, only four. The other one was season four. Okay, I was looking at I, was like, I don't remember her last episode. Yeah, so and one in this one. Two. But I was like, if she did show up, it was in the first one with Chloe dealing with yeah. Not having Lucifer. It says if she, like, because she has like a, she could be credited, but she cannot appear. She can appear, and then she could just be mentioned. They they like list all of those. We did get Charlotte's actress back, which was nice. Yeah, yeah. that was cool. I thought that was, was pretty cool. So yeah, it was like nice to see her back, just to have a role. I mean, it wasn't like she was playing Charlotte. Yeah, but it was no. nice to have her back to play something. Mm-hmm. It was like a nice cameo. Mm-hmm. No yeah. Superman though. I feel like it's a missed opportunity. Yeah, you could have had Kane in there. Yeah. He just would have been around. <laughs> yeah, he just would have been around. In fact, was he, he, he was definitely was he alive cop? during this period. Yeah, was he a cop at that point? Um, he was... Cop for a while. I don't know. He was, he was a Detroit. detective in, Chicago. in the... Right. Chicago. Chicago. This was New York. Was it the 60s? Something like 50s that. or 60s that he, he met that girl in the bar? Mm-hmm. I feel like it was around this time. But either way, it would have been like a fun thing, but it's probably easier to get the others back. Than Maybe it was earlier. I don't know. He's off doing nothing. <laughs> what is he doing? He's trying to figure out how to die. He's trying to kill chaos. Not Kane. Don't Tom. Uh, during this time, uh, he's probably just enjoying his money from Smallville. Go jerk ourselves some sodas. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on more Lucifer. As we have more coming out every week. If you want to wait right now, check out patreon.com slash blindwave. You can find links down below uh, and see up to the next four episodes available over on Patreon. Subscribe, notifications, see you next time. Uh.